welcome back people of god welcome back for all those of you that have been watching welcome for all new subscribers you are blessed you are welcome in the mighty and powerful name of jesus christ hallelujah it's a pleasure brothers and sisters being back with you today so today i will continue to talk about isolation hallelujah because as we know there are different ways of being isolated sometimes we can choose to do it on our own hallelujah so people of god to god be all the glory so today i will be talking about the moment you will be going on vacation hallelujah it's a moment people of god that you have chosen to pass time with your family with your friends going out and doing all sorts of things hallelujah and i know there are some people that will stay home passing time maybe watching television or whatever but you can also use some time take some time with the lord like isolate yourself with the lord have a relationship with him because during the time you used to go to work or school whatever you didn't have much time to spend time alone with god and so it's the right time to take a little time to be with god hallelujah so people of god as we know you can only hear from the lord when you are taking time to listen to what he wants to say to you if you don't take time to listen to him if you don't take time to be with him you cannot hear his voice and sometimes he will be talking to you and you cannot hear you cannot understand hallelujah you cannot understand that means you have not grown hallelujah so the lord he wants you to grow and during the vacation take time to draw close to him take some time to draw close to your heavenly father he is waiting he is waiting he is always waiting he is never too tired for us so people of god that's another way you can isolate yourself some people can go through isolation when they have lost all what they have they are going through some tough times they don't know what to do and they don't want to see anyone they just want to be alone the lord can talk to you in that way but the lord wants you on your own to take time to worship him to take time to draw closer to him he will be so pleased with that moment so it is very important to feel like you need to be close to your father I just need to pass some time alone with my heavenly father. I will just take today or this week to worship my God and be alone with him. And I will go and spend time with my relatives afterwards. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, if you will be going on vacation for a month, take at least 4 days or 3 days or a week to spend time with God, to worship him, to just have that relationship with him hallelujah because some of us after work we are tired even though you have a relationship with the lord even though you are praying but you don't have enough time you don't have enough time to pass at least an hour or two with your heavenly father and even more there are people that are spending 6 hours and it is easy to spend all day with the lord if you take time to fast because on that day you will be fasting you just want to be alone with the lord hallelujah so it is very important to fast and pray during this vacation hear the voice of god hallelujah so people of god jesus he himself he took time to pray he used to leave his disciples and go and pray hallelujah we know that jesus christ is lord but he came to show us the good way he came to show us how we must pass time with the heavenly father hallelujah so in luke chapter 6 verse 12 he saying to us and it came to pass in those days that he went out into the mountains to pray and he continued all night in prayer to god hallelujah he stayed praying all night long and sometimes the lord will ask you to pray during the night and sometimes he can also wake you up at a certain time to pray 
so we must be very careful when the lord is asking us to pray because at that time the lord might want to reveal something to you the lord wants you to pray about something or for someone and if you are not paying attention if you are too lazy to wake up you will be missing on something because the lord he never does anything without a reason people of god and sometimes the lord will wake you up to pray because at that moment there is something going on there is something going on there is that enemy maybe trying to to break you down there is that work or that person that is trying to do something and at that moment the lord wants you to wake up to pray hallelujah we can see that jesus he spent the whole night praying and we know that jesus christ is lord people of god hallelujah so we ourselves we have to take time to pray hallelujah thank you my god my king so we can continue to read verse 13. verse 13 is saying to us and when it was day, he called his disciples to himself. And from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. He chose twelve disciples after praying. After praying all night long, Jesus, he chose twelve disciples. And he also named them apostles. Hallelujah. He chose twelve of them after praying so people of god jesus is showing to us we must pass time in prayer before taking any decisions hallelujah because we have to search for god so that he can give us the right way to do things to teach us what to do to lead us into what he wants us to do hallelujah so take time during the vacation and search for god and I know this video is not for everyone because some of you have been praying. Oh, people of God, it is now time to encourage someone else. If you know how to do it, if you have been obedient to the Lord, now is time to help someone else. Now is time to help someone and encourage someone to pray, to search for God. Hallelujah. So we are there to help others. We are not there only searching for God for our own self and just being with God and enjoying the presence of God, but we must help someone to search for God and just pass time with the Lord and just enjoy being with the Lord. Hallelujah. So if you have been praying and you know how to pray and you are just enjoying being with the Lord, encourage someone else, my brother or my sister. Encourage someone else. So the Lord will be seeing you as his disciples. So the Lord will take pleasure in your work hallelujah because if you are searching the lord only for your own self and your on your knees and your relatives and friends you must take time to help others it can be anyone it can be someone at your workplace that they need some help you must take time to help them we can read from luke chapter 9 verse 1 and 2 people of god these verses are saying then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over demons and to cure diseases hallelujah verse 2 is saying he sent them to preach the kingdom of god and to heal the sick hallelujah he sent them to heal diseases he sent them to heal all those that were sick hallelujah because he gave them authority he gave them power. He gave them his power and authority to go and heal the sick and preach the gospel and cast away demons. Hallelujah. So people of God, the Lord is expecting the same thing of us. You can be on vacation, but the Lord will maybe send you to pray for someone. The Lord will be using you in a way that he never used you before. So we must... Be at the service of God, even though you are taking vacation. Even though you travel, you went to another country, the Lord will be using you as an instrument. Hallelujah. So to him be all the glory, my brother, my sister. As I said earlier on, my brother, my sister, if you decide to take time to pass time with God, he will be so pleased with you. Because it is not something that you are forcing yourself to do. 
if you come to him like you are happy to take time with him, he will be pleased with you and he will be revealing you lots of things, people of God. Because the Lord don't want you to be with him by force. Hallelujah. You must enjoy all the moments that you will be passing in the presence of the Lord. Time that you will take to fast and pray. You must do it with love. You must do it with a joyful heart. Hallelujah. And the Lord will glorify himself in your life. Hallelujah. So people of God, for all those of you that will be going on vacation, remember that we must have a good testimony. Don't forget that you are a child of God. Don't forget that we have to show good examples. Hallelujah. There are people watching us all over. And they must see that you are different. You cannot be like them. You cannot talk like them. You cannot dress like them, people of God. You cannot dress like them. Hallelujah. You are the children of the light, the children of the living God. So there must be a difference between you and those that are still walking according to the world. The children that are still in darkness. You are the light of the world. Hallelujah. So we must have good example. So we must have a good testimony. Don't forget you are serving a living God. Don't ever forget that you must keep walking in sanctification. And you must not dirty that white robe that you have. You can be on vacation. You can travel. You can do some things together with your relatives. Hallelujah. Your children. Your husband. Hallelujah. Your wife. But all what you will be doing must please God. Must please God. You cannot forget him. You cannot put the Holy Spirit aside to go on vacation. No, 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 no. You cannot put the Holy Spirit aside to go on vacation. Because Jesus said, the Holy Spirit will be leading you and teaching you things that you don't know. The Holy Spirit will be the one saying to you, be careful or, or don't go in that area. Be careful. If you put the Holy Spirit aside, you cannot hear the voice of God because you know the Holy Spirit is the voice of God. Because you know the Holy Spirit is God himself. Hallelujah, people of God. So remember with these holidays or the time that you will take maybe a month for two or two weeks, don't put the Holy Spirit aside. Because if you put the Holy Spirit aside, you will be empty. Because our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So we cannot put him aside. We cannot ask him to stay home. I'm going on vacation. It is not possible. So we can read people of God from Matthew chapter 5 verse 13 to 16. What the Lord is saying to us in his word. Hallelujah. So brothers and sisters, you can also read from Luke chapter 11 verse 33 to 46. So people of God, as I said, during the vacation, you will be taking some time with the Lord for those that decide to take time with the Lord. It can be a time to repent. It can be a time that you will repent from what you did wrong or because you didn't take any time to hear the voice of God. You didn't pass time with him. You didn't pass time praising him or worshiping him. Because you are too busy going to work, people of God. The Lord is not there to condemn you. In the book of Revelation chapter 2 verse 5 is saying to us, Remember therefore where you have fallen, repent and do the first works, or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place, unless you repent. Hallelujah. So the Lord is asking us to repent. The Lord wants his children to repent from whatever thing that we did. Repent and continue to do the good work and continue to do the good work that he is expecting us to do. The work that he has called us to do, people of God. So that's why we cannot put God aside. We cannot put the Holy Spirit aside. 
We must take time to isolate yourself to hear the voice of God, to know and to understand what He is expecting of you. Hallelujah. And all of us have to take time to listen to the Lord. That doesn't mean you have to stay home all alone all the time to hear the voice of God, people of God, because our Lord will talk to us no matter where we are. We can be walking on the street, the Lord can talk to you. The Lord can reveal something to you, people of We must just have a good relationship with the Lord and we will be hearing His voice. On vacation, in the aeroplane, on the boat, no matter, He will talk to us. He will reveal things to us, no matter where we might be. So it is not important the place that you are, but the Lord just wants you to have a relationship with Him. To Him be all the glory. Hallelujah. Another verse we can read from is from John chapter 15, verse 7. Verse 7 is saying to us, people of God, If you abide in me and my word abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 8 is saying, By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit so you will be my disciples hallelujah when we abide in the lord his word abide in us we will bear much more fruits hallelujah and so we will be a disciple a true disciple of the living god hallelujah so people of god the lord is asking us to stay with him stay connect with him the Lord is asking us to stay with Him. We cannot go on our own to do whatever you want to do, even though you are on vacation. Hallelujah. Abide in Him. Abide in Him and let His word abide in you. Hallelujah. So people of God, before I say goodbye, I just hope this video will be a blessing to you and to someone else. Hallelujah. Because the Lord, He wants us to be His. He don't want to share us. He is a jealous God and he don't want us to have any other God before him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalms 62 verse 8 is saying, Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. God is a refuge for us. You can come to him at all times. You are feeling like you are down and everyone has turned against you. You have been betrayed by someone. Or no matter what you are going through, you are going through some disappointment. You are feeling discouraged and so on. The Lord is saying to you, He is your refuge. You can come to Him. You can talk to Him. Pass time with Him. Hallelujah. He is the only solution that we have. He is our refuge, people of God. So to Him be all the glory. So be blessed, people of God. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Stay blessed always in the Lord. Continue to search for Him. Continue to pass time with Him in prayer, in fasting. And you will not regret anything, people of God. Because our God, He is good. He is a merciful God. He is a peaceful God. And He alone can give you that peace that you are searching for. By having a relationship with Him, by passing time with Him, isolate yourself with Him and just talk to Him. Pour out your heart before Him and He will answer you. He will restore you. He will help you. Hallelujah. He will strengthen you, people of God, because our strength can only come from the Lord. We can only depend on Him. So people of God, that's why I will be saying goodbye for today. Until next time, as I said, stay blessed in the Lord because He is our only hope, people of God. So goodbye for now.